guy's like, wear it. I'm like, okay. So I put it on, it's really tight, it's like a lady's diamond ring. And I'm like trying to like hide, and so I ended up spending a couple more days in New York with this ring, and I'm so scared to leave it in my closet even, that I, I'm just gonna wear it. And I get this great idea, I'm like, you know what? I don't want it to slip off. I'm gonna put it on like a, one of my other fingers. So I somehow like wedge this lady's finger on my finger. And I've now, be, I've like basically tourniqueted Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. Pause of the story. I, I, for seizure reasons, if we can stop the flash, I guess it's a, like a, a, a district thing or something. So I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, who was that guy? I'm joking. my friend Steve. <laughs> anyway, I've, I've now like put this on my finger and it's acting like a tourniquet. Like my finger is literally, I'm watching it turn like blue, gray. All of a sudden, it's like black, like a California raisin. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, there's no way this ring's getting off of me unless it's cut off, because I don't want to, I don't want to lose this and then get kicked out of the movie and then a Bill Murray sue me for a quarter million dollars. Anyway, long story short, I make it back to Rome. I'm sitting there in my hotel room, and at this point, my my hand is like swollen from the f flight, so like. The ring has literally become part of my body. It's like <laughs> inherent in my DNA. My skin is growing over it. My, 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 I've given up on my finger. I'm like, I'll never have that finger or whatever. <laughs> I'm in the room. I call Bill. I ask to talk to Bill. Bill comes over, and we can't get the ring off now. It's literally stuck on. We're trying, like, water. We're trying, like, low. Nothing will come out. If you had told me when I was seven years old that one day the guy from Ghostbusters <laughs> would be in my Roman hotel room rubbing a stick of butter <laughs> all over my finger trying to get a quarter million dollar ladies diamond ring off of it. I probably wouldn't believe you, but it did happen. It, it was one of, the, one of the greatest greatest nights of my life. <laughs> it's really superb. Anyway, slumber parties. When I started doing this, when I started thinking of this, I was like, slumber parties are the best. You guys all remember. You guys probably still have slumber parties. I, I do. Yeah. One of the greatest things to me about slumber parties is uh, prank phone calls. Yeah, yeah. These people love prank phone calls. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you want to share a prank phone call story? Or do you have any? Oh my god. I you don't have to. You don't have to. All right, never mind. Okay. I, that, was a, that was a cruel move. I don't, I've never done this before. I don't know. Who I'll tell you a good one of mine. Some dark, some naughty yeah. ones. Oh, some dark I had to walk away and pretend I didn't know because I'm the mama. Like, don't wow. even let me listen if you're gonna do that. Yeah. I'll have to hear that later. Okay. That sounds pretty scary. Some dark, dark ones. They say they call me Satan or something. So, <laughs> I, uh, I got a good prank phone call story. Sort of an accidental prank phone call, and the night my cell phone got stolen. What happened was this wasn't too long ago. Actually, this was like a year ago. I, I was sitting in front of a low-fat yogurt like shop in Los Angeles. <laughs> Eating yogurt with my legs kind of crossed, which I guess was the first problem I created for myself, just doing that. <laughs> Sitting there, just eating, enjoying some yogurt, using my iPhone, when all of a sudden I'm going to press the button and it's like flying out of my hand. And I, <laughs> I just can't, I'm kind of slow on the draw. I'm like, what just happened? And I see this gang of like 12 year old Asians. <laughs> Running with my phone and laughing, they look, they're, like those, they're like those dudes that are like into Dragon Ball Z. So they have like spiky, really extreme hair. And like at first I thought it was a joke, like oh, the, the cast of Dragon Ball Z just stole my phone. They're gonna bring it back, right? And I'm like watching it, but no, they keep going and they're going and going and going. And I'm watching and I'm like, why aren't I running? And I'm like, I don't know why I'm running. And all of a sudden my phone's gone forever. And I'm like, that that, that sucks. And it was also really humiliating. Because like, like having cartoon characters come and take your phone <laughs> is emasculating. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, whatever, I finish my yogurt. I <laughs> this story is so terrible. I almost don't want to tell it. I, uh, I get up and I'm like, there's an AT&T shop nearby. So I'm like, I'm going to walk to the AT&T shop. Tell them, maybe they can deactivate it. I have some weird things on my phone. I'm like, I, I don't want whatever. So I go in, I'm like, <laughs> not, not what you think. I like that everyone's like, oh, God. <laughs> Naked pictures of Justin Bieber, it's all <laughs> um, so, so I go, I go into this uh, AT&T place, and I'm like, man, my phone just got stolen. He's like, when? I'm like, 10 minutes ago? He goes, like, let's call it. I'm like, yeah! Yeah, it didn't occur to me. Yeah, let's call it. So he's like, what's your number? So I, I tell the guy my number, he dials it in, he's like, he's all excited, and he slides in, he's like, yeah, tell him, tell him. The phone rings, it's a New York number, I'm in LA, it's 917, oh, yeah. phone rings, I hear Hello. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> and the guy's like, pretty good. <laughs> and I'm like, that's my phone you're talking on right now. This is the guy whose phone you just stole. 
and I have this weird thing, let me pause for a minute. I, when I get like really enraged, I turn into like Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. <laughs> know where it comes from. I start saying some of the most terrible things. I'm like, I'm like, so I say, that's my phone you're on. It's like, it was my phone. I'm like, I know. I know it's your phone. I'm giving it to you as a gift. Because I'm gonna find you. You know what? My phone has a high-tech tracking device on it. And I'm gonna find you. And in front of your Dragon Ball Z buddies, I'm gonna shove that phone up your ass. And I'm gonna make a watch. Thank you. And the guy's like, no, no. He's like, and I'm like, Dad, no. He's like, this is my phone. I'm like, I know it's your phone. I know it. I'm not saying it's on your phone. It is your phone. See you real soon, buddy. <laughs> and like, even the guy at the store is like, all of a sudden, he's like, who is this guy? <laughs> and as I'm hanging it up, I'm like, something's kind of off about that phone call. <laughs> I glance down at the phone and I realize the guy had dialed the wrong number. 